Life in the UK Test. Chapter 5, Part 6. Disclaimer. This work is independent and non-official. It is a free help based on life in the United Kingdom, a guide for new residents 3rd edition handbook. December 2015. Chapter 5, Part 6. The UK Government, The Law and Your Role. Who Can Vote? The Electoral Register. Where to Vote? Standing for Office, Who Can Vote? The UK has had a fully democratic voting system since 1928. The present voting age of 18 was set in 1969, and, with a few exceptions, all UK-born and naturalised adult citizens have the right to vote. Adult citizens of the UK, and citizens of the Commonwealth and the Irish Republic, who are resident in the UK, can vote in all public elections. Adult citizens of other EU states, who are resident in the UK can vote in all elections except general elections. The Electoral Register. To be able to vote, you can register by contacting your local council electoral registration office. This is usually based at your local council, in Scotland it may be based elsewhere. If you don't know which local authority you come under, you can find out by visiting www.aboutmyvote.co.uk and entering your postcode. You can also download vote registration forms in English, Welsh and some other languages. The Electoral Register is updated every year in September or October. An electoral registration form is sent to every household, and this has to be completed and returned, with the names of everyone who is resident in the household, and eligible to vote. In Northern Ireland a different system operates. This is called individual registration, and all those entitled to vote must complete their own registration form. Once registered, people stay on the register, provided their personal details do not change. For more information, see the Electoral Office for Northern Ireland website at www.eoni.org.uk. By law, each local authority has to make its electoral register available for anyone to look at, although this has to be supervised. The register is kept at each local electoral registration office or council office in England and Wales. It is also possible to see the register at some public buildings such as libraries, where to vote. People vote in elections at places called polling stations, or polling places in Scotland. Before the election you will be sent a poll card. This tells you where your polling station, or polling place is, and when the election will take place. On election day, the polling station or place will be open from 7 a.m. until 10 p.m. When you arrive at the polling station, the staff will ask for your name and address. In Northern Ireland you will also have to show photographic identification. You will then get your ballot paper, which you take to a polling booth to fill in privately. You should make up your own mind who to vote for. No one has a right to make you vote for a particular candidate. You should follow the instructions on ballot paper. Once you have completed it, put it in the ballot box. If it is difficult for you to get to a polling station or polling place, you can register for a postal ballot. Your ballot paper will be sent to your home before the election. You then fill it in and post it back. You can choose to do this when you register to vote, standing for office. Most citizens of the UK the Irish Republic or the Commonwealth aged 18 or over can stand for public office. There are some exceptions, including Members of the armed forces Civil servants People found guilty of certain criminal offences Members of the House of Lords may not stand for election to the House of Commons but are eligible for all other public offices. Study Materials all chapters from the study materials are Crown copyright and have been based on life in the United Kingdom, a guide for new residents 3rd edition handbook. All photos are borrowed from wikipedia.org under the Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 3.0 unported. 
This work is independent and non-official, prepared in December 2015.